My father was born in China, in Tai On. I'm not sure of the area actually, um, because I've tried to Google it. I thought I'd find the area, but villages change names, don't they? So I was hoping my uh, grandson would help me, because we have some letters which my father used to write home, because he used to send money to his family. And I know my father, my father's father was an elder in the village. And when the Japanese invaded, the land was taken off him. And it wasn't until many years ago that my father, because he lived in England, he was able to be compensated for that land. And by this time, I think my father had died. And my mum split the money between the remaining Lee family, my eldest brother, there's a letter there I've forgotten, and uh, I don't know. Um, so what did your father do in China? Well, he came over to England as a student and studied in Cardiff. And then he was there for a few years. And then he was talking to some Chinese people and they suggested to come up to Liverpool to meet my grandfather and hence he met my mother. And that's, uh, they became, they married in 1944. And so what's this book? This is... My sister did this. It's about the Lee family. Oh, let's have a look. Yeah. So your father went to Cardiff, and what did he study? Um, must have been the scientist, because when we were cleaning Mum's house, we saw little test tubes and weights associated with science things. Mm. My brother's got them in Canada. <laughs> Yeah. And then after Cardiff, did you say he went back to China? Did he work? No, because the then war broke out. Um, mm -hmm. Then he went to work at the Chinese embassy in London. And while he was there, Mum came up to Liverpool because of the war, and he wanted her to be safer. And then this is some of the communications so that Mum and Dad between Mum and Dad love letters. <laughs> Oh. Yes, so they married in 1944 and they had a house, bought the house in Knockley Road and there they had five children and then the last one, Sandra, she was born in Lodge Lane in the chip shop. Yeah. This is spanning over, oh, must be 16 years. This is my mum. So um, the Chinese Revolution was your father working in the embassy during the Chinese Revolution? I really don't know much about this mm. at all. I just know he we used to listen to the news a lot with Chairman Mao. Yeah. And when did he stop working in the embassy, do you know? He must have been 44 because that's when they married and then he helped mum in the laundry. Mm. So... Did you live in the laundry at any point? Do you... Only when, uh, not permanently, because we had the house now in, in Tubrook. But we used to stay overnight and Mum was working late or mm. Dad was working late. Very rarely. Yeah. Mm. So can you remember the laundry? Yes, yes. Okay, so could you describe to me exactly mm. what you can remember about I the laundry? I did a little drawing there. It's, see that? Uh, there's no part down the sides of the thingy. It was basically a two up, two, two up, two down house. The laundry was in Boundary Lane, Liverpool 6. Um, and it was just basically a two up, two down building. With the, the fruit room was where my mum used to iron on big wide tables. And then there was a, a counter where the customers used to drop off their washing or collect their washing. And then through the back room was 
where that big conveyor belt was, which used to um, start the machinery, which was sorry the machinery for the washing machines, which was was housed in the backyard. Don't know how that passed the health and safety rules. It wouldn't pass today because it was so open. You know the big wide uh, belt. Um, and then that was one room, and then towards the back was where the the clothes used to be dried on racks, and then it also had a stove which housed the flat irons. There used to be about six around this stove, and it was fed by coal, obviously to heat the irons. And then Mum just used to go back and to once the irons had cooled to continue ironing. And to this day, my, myself and my sisters know which order she used to iron the shirts. And it was the collar first, and then the... What's this bit called? The yoke? Yeah, maybe. The top of the shirt, yeah. That bit. And then the cuffs, then the, sheath, the shirt, shirt sleeves. And then the sides, and then the back. And then she'd flip it over and then fold it uh, before it was packed into the brown paper and tied up with string. <laughs> They're put up on the shelf for the, waiting for the customer to collect. How old were you at this time? Um, I was probably about uh, five or six. No, I could have been five or six. I went to school then, didn't I? Might have been a bit younger. So did your dad work in the laundry too? Yes, yes. Yes, that's how he came to be in the laundry. Because we always said he was his education was wasted. But there's no work around that time, was there? So, yeah. How did he feel about working in the laundry? Was he happy? I don't know. He's just a family man. Worked with family. We never went hungry. We were always clothed and fed. Um, yeah. It's interesting. Were they actually washing machines that you had? Like big tubs. Cylinders. And used to roll round. Remember Dad always wearing Wellingtons because there was always water, wasn't it? Quite cold as well. Mm. Did you have mangles and things or did the machines spin them? Do you know, I don't know. Mm. Don't know. I remember we had a mangle at, at home. <laughs> yeah. These things you don't remember, do you? Then it's too late. And what school did you go to? We went to Roscoe Ballantyne, which is a, which is off Muirhead Avenue, and we all went there. So even my cousins, who lived in Buckingham Road, we all went there. So we were the only Chinese family actually. We used to follow us, so to speak. Yeah. So when you moved to Lodge Lane, how old were you? When did the laundry close? Did the laundry close naturally? I don't know, do you know? You don't, don't know. know. Yeah. All I know is uh, Dad bought the chip shop. Yeah. So I was 10 going on 11, because I remember having to travel uh, with two buses to get to Aintree, where Queen Mary was. And then my brothers were in Collegiate, which is just just off Grove Street, wasn't it? Which is now apartments. Yeah. My brothers wouldn't recognise Liverpool now at all. So did you live in the chip shop? Yeah. It was three storeys. Yeah. Because by that time we had six children. Well, they had six children. My younger sister was born there. So can you describe the chip shop for us? Where about in Lodge Lane? Was it... Compared to say the library, and it was on the next block to the wash house. So there was a wallpaper shop, which is double fronted, 
and then the chip shop and then there's the doctor's surgery. Um, it was just thriving Lodge Lane at the time, so busy. Could you tell us about the Pivy and the people that went into the chip shop, the strippers afterwards and the library? I didn't actually meet the strippers but I remember mum saying the ladies from the wash house used to come in and the strippers obviously at night time after the show and I I started going to the library as well. So it was a thriving place, Lodge Day, wasn't it? It was, it was busy. Mm. Okay, so if you can describe what you can remember about the chip shop and your living quarters upstairs. Um, well, the shop was in the front and then we lived in the back and then the kitchen was further back and then in the yard, that's where my dad used to wash the potatoes and then my brothers had to eye them and get every mark off them. I helped my mum to look after my sisters. My name was Little Mother. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Was the um, laundry and the chip shop just named after the family? Or did they... Didn't have a name. Probably called the Chippy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I suppose the laundry was, was still the Wong's laundry. My grandfather's laundry. Mm. So, Dennis Wong, you've got the same grandfather. Yeah, he's my mum's eldest brother, the firstborn. Yeah. And as I said, they, they lived in Manchester. So, how long did you live in the chip shop for? Hmm. Maybe see eleven. Probably about eight years, I think. No, oh, hang on. Sixty three they bought the house. And hmm. Yeah, probably six or seven years. But then they bought another chip shop in Tunnel Road, which is just across the road from Smithdown Road. So Dad was in one and Mum was in the other. And then there were a few years there, and then they bought the restaurant in Liscard. Hard working people. Very. Mm. Yeah. And as I say, we were all educated. We didn't have to help in the chippy or the shops. I did the odd bit of you know, helping in the chip shop. Yeah. Probably. Mm. Didn't have it as hard as some have had it. 